Hey, this is Professor Perez. In this video, we are going to solve a lot of equations. So what I recommend you do is when an equation comes up, pause the video and then solve it on your own and then play the video to see if you got the correct answer. So let's get started and let's see if Charlie is ready to go. Hey, Charlie, you ready to solve some equations? All right, let's get started right there. X subtract five equals nine. Remember, when you solve an equation, the goal is to isolate the variable term, the letter, right? In this case, it's x. Since we have x subtract 5, we need to eliminate that subtract 5 by adding 5, right? And so we bring down our work. Negative 5 plus 5 is 0. Bring down our x. 9 plus 5 is 14. And so our answer is x equals 14. Remember, to verify that your answer is correct, just take your result, x equals 14, and substitute into the original equation for the variable term, and you should end up with a true statement. Okay, let's go to x subtract 6 equals negative 3. To isolate the variable term here, we need to add 6. Because negative 6 plus 6 is 0, they cancel, leaving you with an x on the left-hand side, and negative 3 plus 6 is a positive 3, so your answer is x equals 3. Here we have x plus 8 equals 0. Well, it makes sense. x should be negative 8, because negative 8 plus 8 is 0, right? But how do you solve this algebraically? Well, to isolate the variable term x, we subtract 8 from both sides. The plus 8 and negative 8 cancel. They equal 0 when you combine them. So that leaves you with the x on the left-hand side, and 0 subtract 8 is a negative 8. So your answer is, in fact, negative 8. Now, 5x equals 9. Remember, 5x means 5 times x. So to isolate the x from the multiplication, you need to divide out that 5. So, 5x equals 9, what we do is we divide both sides by 5, because those 5's will cancel, leaving you with 1, but you have 1x, and that was your goal, to get 1x isolated on one side of the equation, and the right-hand side is 9 fifths. Remember, if you divide one side by 5, you must divide the other side by 5 also. Here we have negative 3x equals 27. To isolate the multiplication from that variable, the negative 3 times x, you got to divide both sides by a negative 3, because a negative divided by negative is a positive, right? And that gives you 1x. Remember, whatever you do to the left-hand side, you have to do the same thing to the right-hand side of your equation. And so 27 divided by negative 3 is a negative 9, and that is your answer there. Now here we have 8x subtract 3 plus 2x equals 2 plus 3 subtract 4. Now, to begin solving this equation, we first want to combine like terms. And we have like terms on our left-hand side. We have the 8x plus a 2x, that's 10x, bring down the subtract 3. On the right-hand side, they're all numeric values, so we can combine those. We get 2 plus 3 is 7, I'm sorry, 2 plus 3 is 5, subtract 4 is 1, and that's what you get on the right-hand side. Now, to isolate the variable term, we first want to get rid of that subtract 3. The way we get rid of it is we add 3. And if we add 3 to the left side, we have to add 3 to the other side to balance that equation, right? And so negative 3 plus 3, those cancel, leaving you with 10x on the left and 4 on the right. There we go. Now, to isolate the multiplication from the x, the 10 times x, we need to divide both sides by 10. 10s cancel out, and they leave you with 1x on the left-hand side. On the right-hand side, 4 tenths can be reduced. A 4 and a 10 have a common factor of 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2, and 10 divided by 2 is 5, and so our answer is 1x equals 2 fifths. And there you go. Here we have 4 thirds x equals 9. Here we're going to use the reciprocal method. Remember, if you multiply 3 fourths times 4 thirds, since they are reciprocals, they will equal 1 because the threes will cancel out and the fours will cancel out and that will leave you with one x on the left hand side. Now since we multiply the right hand side by three fours, we need to multiply three fours times nine. So let's rewrite nine as a fraction. And now we multiply fractions straight across the top and straight across the bottom and so we get 27 fourths for our answer. Here we have three halves x equals five thirds. Let's use the reciprocal method again, meaning to isolate that x, we're going to take 3 halves and multiply it by its reciprocal because that product will be 1. So 2 thirds times 3 halves, the 2's cancel out, the 3's cancel out, leaves you with 1x on the left-hand side. 
But remember, we had to multiply the other side by two thirds. So we have two thirds times five thirds, and we multiply straight across the top and straight across the bottom, and that gives you 10 ninths for that answer there. Now here, we're going to do the same problem, but we're going to use a clearing fractions technique, or kung fu fractions, using the lowest common denominator. Notice we have 3 halves on one side and 5 thirds on the other side. Our lowest common denominator for fractions that have a denominator of 2 and 3 is 6. 2 and 3 both divide evenly into 6. Well, what are we going to do with that lowest common denominator? We are going to multiply both sides of our equation by 6 to clear the fractions. So watch. Notice we multiply both sides by 6. In this problem, we use the reciprocal. Here, we're using the lowest common denominator because our fractions will clear out. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 3 times 3 is 9. But don't forget, it's 9x. On the right-hand side, 6 divided by 3 is 2. 2 times 5 is 10. And we get 10 on the right-hand side. Now, we have 9 times x on the left-hand side. To isolate that variable, to get rid of that multiplication, we need to divide out that 9. Nines cancel, leaving you with 1x on the left-hand side, and the right-hand side is 10 nines. And that is your final answer there. That was Solving Equations Part 1. I hope to see you come back for Solving Equations Part 2. Well, see you again soon.